Hello, today we'll be making a more modernized version of the Shield X Manager tutorial using the brand new web dashboard to create our shop items and our achievements super easily. So check this out. First step, click dashboard. Now you have to log in with your Discord account and where this is log out for me, it'll say log in for you, but I've already logged in. Next we get to pick a server, so I'll pick Shield X tutorial. Just head over here. See, we've got our dashboard. We can talk things like, do you get XP from chatting? Can people create teams freely? Can teams declare wars? There are attacks on teams. But what, what, what we're going to start off with is we're going to edit our shop. Now, just to show you already, nothing in the shop. No achievements. You can even see it here. Nothing in the shop. So, we're going to click New Item. We're going to create three items in this tutorial. First, we're going to create a triangle item. It's going to cost 15 bits. And let's make it five. Three. We're going to make it limited, which means it can only be bought one time. Item description. It's a triangle. Exclamation mark. And let's make give you three of them. This triangle. So you can click add item. And here's our triangle. Now we open up the shop over here. Look at that. It's in there already. No long command, no intensive heavy work. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this triangle to a category by clicking the category manager button. So we can type in the name of our category. We're gonna put this in the polygons category. We're just gonna click the plus. And voila, it is now sorted into the polygons category. So we can click back. Let's create two more items. Let's create a square. Make it four, cost four, limited. It's a square. And a pentagon. Five, five, yes. Pentagon. Now we're going to add these to the polygons category. Let's check our shop. Voila! It's been updated. Now you may be wondering what the category is for. Well, we're going to make it so you can get a special role in the Discord if you buy all three. And we have to give the items a category that we can target. So the category is going to be polygons. So we're gonna click back. Give it a second. Why? Okay, we had some technical difficulties, but it got all sorted out. And now, go back to the shop. We have our beautiful items. Now let's add the achievement. We go to edit achievements. We can create a new achievement. I'm going to call this achievement polygonal. Now the trigger is basically what causes the achievement to happen, like the condition for completing the achievement. So the default is buy items. So we're going to keep it on that. I'm going to set the item category to polygons. So this is why we set the category earlier. I'm going to set the amount to three. Since there's three polygons, we want it so they buy them all. Reward, we can switch this to a role. We're going to change the role name to Polygon Master. We can describe the achievement as buy all the polygons to become the master. Now we just click Add Achievement. Voila. We do sx.achievements. All right. We just check our stats real quick. We don't have any bits. So if we just talk a bit, just normal conversational stuff, and get some more XP. See, there we got five. So this brings us to the next part of the tutorial, plugins. Now, you might see up here the plugins page, and it's a list of all the plugins and their help commands. 
So do sx.load plugin give and take. If we do sx.plugins, I think that was the command. Might not be. I don't I think I don't think that Yeah, there it is. Now if we do sx Now if we do sx.plugins, you can see we have give and take loaded. We do g and t help. So we have all this. So we can do g and t give bits 1000 at, and I would get myself. And voila. Now, using this plugin, we've given ourselves more bits. So now we can buy things. Do like by triangle, by square, by pentagon. Oh, there it is. Let me see. Send a message and whoa! What's that? We can play the achievement. Check our inventory. Use this now. Now, if we check our rolls. Polygon Master. So, what did we do? Let's recap. We learned how to use the dashboard, how to create an achievement system. We learned how to load plugins and use them. We were able to categorize our shop. We were able to create roll triggers. There's a lot more you can do with this. And it's pretty intuitive with the new dashboard. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you soon.